comes at State Park. And the gentleman handed me a paper, all kinds of conspiracy theories, and I thought, what is this nonsense? I was ready to throw it out, like it was garbage. And I started reading about geoengineering and chemtrails. I was like, this is nonsense. And I started paying more attention to the clouds and everything. And I saw, sometimes days would go by, there would be just normal clouds, and all of a sudden you'd have three days. Now the planes were always flying. They, they fly around stuff, around the clock, because, you know, we're in New York, we're near a couple airports, obviously, there's I used to go out there, there's LaGuardia and there's Kennedy. So planes are flying around the clock. And you'd have three or four days where you would see just normal weather. Then all of a sudden you'd look up and you'd see. And these planes at that altitude, obviously, um, um, the weather doesn't change much at 35,000 feet. All of a sudden you'd see lines like, and they would start spreading. And I'd be like, what is this? This is obviously not normal. And I started believing what I was reading. I was, I'd start observing. I'd tell people, I'd say, you're crazy. They're not doing anything with the weather. It just was bizarre, you know? And um, if you have four or five days and all of a sudden you start seeing lines and then it starts dispersing and one of the really clear signs of the chemtrails is when you see the line and all of a sudden it stops then it turns back on again now if a plane was flying and you stop seeing the contrail does that mean the plane the engine stopped combusting and the engine's going to collapse what do they do, turn back on the spray jets where they have to reload the canisters? I mean, that's pretty clear because a normal contra on a plane would have to constantly be going and it usually disperses in 10 minutes. So anyhow, to make a long story short, I've been telling everybody in for about three or four years, so the fact that I could actually speak my mind among like-minded people and didn't think I was crazy, just kind of, this is like awesome. And it, actually, I also saw that there's a $2,500 fine. Now, I don't know how you can actually fine them. That's just like throwing a penny out of your window in your car, a $2,500 fine. It should be like a million dollar fine because you know, it's, 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 it's a joke. The $2,500 fine, it should be raised to like at least a million dollars. And uh, you know, you just look around and you see the weather. I don't want to type your time, but that's my two cents. And also, I'm kind of embarrassed to be an American to see that they're doing this. And, uh, my mom actually came from Nazi Germany, and uh, my grandfather's in a concentration camp, and you know she's 90, and she wouldn't believe that they're spraying us because she loves this country, but the fact of the matter, seeing what's going on, it's kind of a shame to be an American and see what's going on. It's kind of horrendous. You know? Awesome. Yeah, thank you very much. For